This lesson covers the following topics. The layout of the message log, actions that can be performed on messages, such as search, redeliver, marking a message as spam or non-spam, or whitelisting or blacklisting the sender, how to easily identify quarantined or rejected messages, the message search feature, message transcripts, quarantined messages, including user quarantines as well as the administrative quarantine, message queues, including messages queued for delivery, and the bad messages queue, which will contain messages that could not be delivered. In this lesson, we're going to talk about troubleshooting email delivery issues in Security Gateway. And most of the troubleshooting that you'll do will take place under the messages queues menu under the the message log. So for example, if we go to messages queues, click on all messages, these are uh, these are all the messages sent to and from or passing inbound and outbound through Security Gateway. So if you need to find out what happened with a message, somebody says that they tried to send a message and it wasn't delivered or you were expecting a message, one of your users was ex was expecting a message and for some reason it was not delivered. This is where you can go to see what happened with that message. Now, before I get into detail on the uh, the message log, if a message does not appear here, if you don't see any kind of connection under the uh, message log, then if you're troubleshooting a mail delivery issue and you don't see anything here, then the issue lies somewhere outside of Security Gateway. So this screen, the message log, shows you a good deal of information about your messaging traffic. It shows you, uh, it shows you the date and time the message was sent, the sender, the recipient, the subject, the result of the message delivery attempt, for example, was it rejected, was it quarantined, was it delivered, various other uh, re results in the results column, and also the reason that the result was, that it was given the result that it was given. So, for example, if uh, the message was uh, attempting to, if it was a relay attempt, uh, if it was sent to an invalid sender or contained a uh, an invalid attachment, you'll also find a column here for the message size and the message score. So you may recall that when you're configuring your security settings throughout Security Gateway, various different settings can uh, be configured to adjust the message score or to add a certain number of points to the message score for messages that might have been triggered by that particular security feature or that might have been questionable as to its uh, legitimacy. So those scores are tallied up and the score will be displayed under the score column here. And notice that everything is color-coded. On the far left, you can see which messages were inbound versus outbound by the, uh, the down-facing arrow for the, with the green envelopes. Those are inbound messages. And then the blue up-facing arrow for outbound messages. And these columns can be arranged in different order. So if you want to uh, change the date order, you can click on the column heading to, uh, to do so. You can also turn certain columns on and off by simply clicking on these blue buttons here across the top. And then further up, you have some additional buttons. You can refresh the message log. You can perform a search. You can view the details of a message that you have selected, which basically does the same thing as double clicking on it. You can try to re-deliver a message or mark a message as spam or non not spam or whitelist or blacklist the sender or the uh, sender's domain. But when troubleshooting email delivery issues, you can come here and you can find, you can do a search and find the message that you are looking for to see what happened with it. So if somebody says, I tried to uh, send a message to a particular recipient or it didn't go through, you can come here and find out why. So for example, here's a message that was filtered out that was rejected because it contained prohibited attachments. The attachment filtering uh, feature rejected the uh, the message. And then you can see here is a uh, a blacklisted sender. Here is a um, a message that was quarantined because it failed callback verification. Here is a uh, message that was uh, filtered out by data leak prevention. And you can see it requires additional review. So this gives you a high level overview of the traffic going into and out of your server. If you're looking for a particular message, you can use the search feature here at the top. If we click on the search button, 
And you have all these different criteria that you can specify so that you can find exactly what you're looking for. So you can specify whether you're looking for an inbound or an outbound message. You can specify whether a particular header is or is not whatever you put in this text blank. So if the recipient matches a particular you know, string of characters or the from or the subject, you can specify that information there. You can also look for messages based on the result of the delivery attempt. So for example, whether the message was delivered, whether the delivery attempt failed, or the message was quarantined, queued for delivery or rejected, or retried delivery. So it went into the retry queue for Security Gateway to try again to deliver it uh, at regular intervals or to try to deliver it again later. You have a reason section where you can find messages based on the reason that they were handled the way they were. So if messages have been uh, rejected or quarantined or uh, blacklisted, you can select the reason that you're looking for here. So if you're looking for a specific message that you know was blocked, say, by outbreak protection, you can select outbreak protection in the drop down menu here and specify that criteria. You can also specify by the message score, and you can search all dates or a specific date range. So that's how you can easily find messages in uh, Security Gateway via the message log. And once you find what you're looking for, like I'd mentioned previously, you can see what happened with it, whether it was delivered, whether it was rejected, or quarantined, and the reason why. And then you can also further double click on a message so for example, let's choose this one here. And then you can review the transcript of the message and see additional details pertaining to the server-to-server uh, -server communication processes. When a, when, so for example, if Security Gateway is delivering a message to another mail server, or if it's receiving one from another mail server or gateway, uh, you'll be able to view the, uh, basically the, the protocol commands in this transcript uh, depicting the server to server communications and you can see here that the arrows pointing left and right depict uh, the right facing arrows depict outbound activity and the left facing arrows depict inbound communications or inbound activity so this is a, a message delivery attempt here and uh, the, the other server sent a, an EHLO command and then my server, Security Gateway, sent back the the hello, pleased to meet you banner with the the various different SMTP commands that it will accept. These are what we call ESMTP or extended SMTP commands. And then, as you can see, the um, you can follow along with the uh, transcript here uh, to see all the different server-to-server -server communication uh, transactions that are taking place during this message delivery attempt. And in this particular case, the sender tried to send to this particular address, but the address was placed previously, a previous time had been placed in a, a delivery, uh, a failed delivery cache so that Security Gateway would not keep trying to deliver the message. And then the message was uh, rejected because it did not recognize the uh, recipient. You can see that here under Executing Invalid Recipient. So you can see which process Security Gateway is currently doing. It's currently doing a Right here, for example, it's doing a blacklist check, and then uh, down here it's doing a relay check, and then it's executing the invalid recipient check to see if the message was addressed to a, an invalid recipient. And then, as you can see, everything is color-coded, so you can see exactly what happened, and then the session was terminated. So this is very useful if you need to troubleshoot mail delivery issues. You can view the message if you have Security Gateway configured to uh, retain the message under the data retention settings. I have mine configured to not retain those messages if uh, for certain uh, scenarios. But you can configure your Security Gateway to retain this information. Likewise, uh, you can also configure your Security Gateway to retain the message headers or the source if you needed to, uh, for troubleshooting purposes, if you needed to view the message headers or the message source, you, you would be able to do so. Here's another example. Here's a, uh, a message that was rejected because the uh, sending IP was found to be on a blacklist. 
and you can double click on the message to view more details. In fact, I'm just going to scroll directly to the, uh, the bright red part that stands out because it's, that just shows you how easy it is to find what happened. In this case, uh, Security Gateway executed the blacklist check, found that the uh, sender is on a blacklist, and then Security Gateway sent the uh, rejection message saying access denied. Now for messages that appeared to be legitimate that uh, should not have been uh, blocked, you can select the message and click on the redeliver button here across the top if you'd like to try to uh, you know, have Security Gateway try to redeliver the, uh, the message. So when troubleshooting mail delivery issues, another feature you'll want to become familiar with is uh, this section here under message queues because sometimes a message will end up in a quarantine and uh, so if a user is uh, not able to get a particular message they couldn't find it or you know check you can check your quarantines of course if a message is is placed in the quarantine you will be able to find that out by going through the log here first anyway just like right here this is an example that shows that, that this particular message was quarantined because uh, it was uh, tagged as questionable by call by callback verification. So the quarantined user queue here contains all the messages that are quarantined for your users. And this allows you as the administrator to go in and review them to see if they are in fact legitimate. And just like with the uh, previous message log, this also shows you the reason it was placed in the quarantine here under the reason column. So you can go here and uh, you have the option of releasing a message from quarantine or uh, deleting the message or marking a message as spam or non-spam or whitelisting or blacklisting the sender or sender's domain just like you have with the other uh, the other message log screen the administrative quarantine is going to be for messages that might have contained some type of questionable attachment that could not be, uh, say, for example, definitively determined to contain malware. This will also contain messages that might have contained sensitive data. So if a message is uh, filtered out by the data leak prevention feature, those messages will also be sent to the administrative quarantine for a further review. And then you have a queue for messages that are queued for delivery. So typically, Security Gateway will try to send messages immediately. If for some reason the receiving server is uh, currently or temporarily offline or there's uh, Security Gateway is having trouble connecting to it or sending mail to it, then Security Gateway will try again to uh, deliver the message at regular intervals. So uh, it'll stay in this queue for a given period of time until after a, an extended period of time in which the message can't be delivered and in that case it is bounced back to the sender. You do have the option here of bouncing messages back manually by clicking this button or stopping the uh, delivery attempt by clicking this button or stopping all of the, the delivery attempts or retrying the uh, delivery attempt for a select message or for all messages. So those messages, and before I go into the bad messages uh, menu, those messages are placed here based on your delivery settings. So I'm going to go off to a different screen for just a moment to show you what I'm referring to as to when messages are placed here and why. And then I'll go back and I'll explain bad messages. So when Security Gateway attempts to deliver mail, it tries at regular intervals to deliver the message right away. And you can configure those settings and those those periods, those intervals via the setup menu, setup users menu. So we'll click on that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Under mail configuration, under mail delivery, and under retry queue. So if a message can't be delivered right away, it goes into the retry queue and Security Gateway will try to deliver the message every five minutes during that first hour. And you can also in optionally inform the sender if the message could not be delivered. And it will continue to do that every five minutes during the first hour. But then after that, it will try to deliver at less frequent intervals. So every 240 minutes, for example. And it will continue at that interval 
until you've reached the undeliverable mail threshold, uh, duration threshold. So for example, if messages cannot be delivered after five days, then all subsequent delivery attempts are canceled and uh, Security Gateway stops trying to uh, deliver the message and optionally can inform the sender that the message could not be delivered. So the reason I bring up this screen here is because if we go back to the messages queues screen, and go back to the queued for delivery uh, tab, those messages that could not be delivered within the time frame that we specified on that other screen that I've just shown you will end up here, and Security Gateway will retry at regular intervals. And then after the five-day period has elapsed, Security Gateway will stop trying to deliver these messages and then simply remove them from this queue. Now, after that five-day period, now, those messages do not go to the bad messages queue. Because those messages that could not be delivered within that five-day time frame, they're just bounced back. The bad messages queue is for messages that encountered some kind of processing error or a recursive loop. So those types of errors will cause messages to be placed in the bad messages queue. And as you can see, under if we go to logging, while we're talking about troubleshooting here, now, but before I go to logging, notice we have an, we've talked about the all messages item here where you can view the entire, uh, the message log. If you go to logging down here, you have access to that same screen. So it's duplicated here. And we'll talk about the log files and configuring your logging settings in another lesson in this course.